Welcome everybody to episode one. It's the beginning of the year, 2020. I figured this was a really good time to start this. I don't wanna to talk too much. I wanna jump right in. Today, we're gonna to be talking about organization and folder structure. I'm gonna show you how to use Mac Automator to create a customized folder structure that can be populated for all of your projects with just a click of a button. To do this, you will need to be on an Apple computer. This does not apply for PC users. To get started, open Finder and navigate to your applications folder. Scroll down and double click Automator. Select application and click choose at the bottom right of the window. Navigate to the search menu in the top left corner and type ask for text. Double click or drag into the application window. Under description, write project name. Default answer should be my project. Make sure to select require an answer. Navigate back to the search menu and type set value of variable. Drag that into the application window. Click on the drop down menu and rename variable to new project. Then click done. Go back to the search menu and type ask for finder items. Drag that into the applications window. Rename the prompt, where would you like to create the project? Change the type dropdown to folders. Navigate back to the search bar and type set value of variable. Again, you can double click or drag into the application window. Select the variable dropdown and click new variable. Change the name to start at. Click done. Back in the search menu, type get value of variable. Double click or drag into the application window. Under the variable dropdown, select new project. Go back to the search menu and type run shell script. Double click or drag into the application window. Make sure the shell dropdown is selected on bin bash and the pass input dropdown is as arguments. Delete all of the text in the script box. On the top line, type the shortcut for make directory, M-K-D-I-R. Add a space, then quotations, then a dollar sign, the number one, backslash, dollar sign, the number two, and add quotations again. Copy the entire line and paste underneath the original text. To create your first folder within the root, arrow over or click in between the end quotations and the number two. Add another backslash and title your first folder, underscore footage. The underscore overrides the alphabetical order, making this the top folder within the root. The next folder I'm creating is going to be images. To do this, I'm going to again paste the original line below the one we just created. Add another backslash, type underscore images in between the number two and the quotations. To add a subfolder within the newly created images folder, copy the text and paste below. In between the quotations and the word images, add a backslash and type the name of the new folder. You can customize these any way you want in the name of the folders according to your workflow. For the sake of time, I'm gonna speed up this video to show you my folder structure. Here is what my final script looks like. To create the automation, Navigate to the top menu and click on File, Save. I'm going to name this Folder Automator and save it to my desktop. The new application will be added to your desktop. By default, the icon image displayed for the application will be the Mac Automator. I will show you how to change this to a custom image in just a second. But first, double click the Folder Automator to make sure everything worked properly. After clicking the automator, you should receive a prompt allowing you to name the folder. This will be the root folder name, so customize it to your workflow. Once you name the folder, click OK. You should receive a prompt allowing you to choose a destination. By default, this will be selected to the desktop. If you receive any errors during this process, go back to the automator and check all the text. There may be an error somewhere in the script. Once you click choose, your folder will be created in the location you selected. Open the folder and make sure everything is customized to your preference. To change the folder automator icon to a custom image, you will need a PNG file. Since I already have one created for my logo, all I need to do is navigate to the location on my computer. I'm using a 1200 by 1200 pixel 300 DPI PNG file. Go ahead and right click on the image and open with preview. In the top menu, click on edit. Select all. Go back to the top menu and click on edit, copy. Close the preview window. Right click on the folder automator and select get info. 
In the top left corner of that window, click on the Automator icon. Once it's selected, go to the top menu bar, click Edit, Paste. Your image should now appear as the folder Automator. You can now add this to your doc, place in your documents file, share with other computers. Wherever you want to keep this Automator is now up to you. Hopefully this tip helps you stay organized between projects and saves you time when creating a folder structure. Thanks for watching. See you next time.